I set about doing it using the, the fault plane solutions of earthquakes uh, in that very large area from the Azores to eastern Iran. But I really wanted to see what it looked like on the ground. And the place that you could get to, rather strangely enough, easily at that time, was Iran. Uh, so we started working up there on the, on, on the earthquake fault, which had moved, to actually put in steel stakes on either side of, of the, the big faults there and measure the movement, because we knew in Iran that most of the movement was not seismic, right? It was by creep. The kernels got turned out in, in, in Greece, so we went to Greece uh, and, and Western Turkey. We drove all over this area, and the, the faulting was completely obvious. We knew that it was normal faulting from, from the, 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 the fault plane solutions, but we had no idea how obvious it was in the field. Shortly after this trip, uh, there was a big earthquake in, in Corinth, uh, in Greece, which produced really beautiful uh, surface breaks. We could really look at ex real details of how continents deform, and in particular, see that the whole of the Aegean was being stretched. And that was then what gave rise to, to these ideas of, of continental extension and basin formation. And it was so obvious in the Aegean, you really couldn't miss it. And it was only because we were also fixed on plate tectonics that it took us quite a long time to see it. You know. It was greatly helped by going into the field because the, the sort of things that we were interested in were not the sort of things that the geologists had mapped. You know, if you want to know what, how things work, you want to look at what's happening now. That's back to the 19th century.